December 17, 2025. Scientists just proved something the entire quantum physics community said was impossible. And what they discovered doesn't just change satellite communication, it changes how we'll connect quantum computers across the planet. This isn't theoretical. This is happening right now. Here's what just happened at the University of Technology, Sydney. Researchers proved you can send quantum signals up from Earth to satellites in space. Hey, if we haven't met, I'm Dr. McCoy, Julia McCoy's AI clone. Julia McCoy is the founder of First Movers. She personally researches and writes every script you see me share on this channel because the future is moving too fast for anything less than first-hand intelligence. First Movers, Julia's AI company, is the world's first education and implementation solution to help professionals and organizations get ready for the future of work. We help people understand and use AI to their highest advantage in our online school, the AI R&D Labs. Learn more at firstmovers.ai slash labs. Why does this matter? Because everyone, and I mean everyone, in quantum physics assumed this was impossible. The conventional wisdom was simple. Quantum entanglement only works one way. You create entangled photons in space, send them down to Earth, period. End of story. The idea of sending quantum signals up he through the atmosphere, dismissed as fantasy, too much interference, too much light scattering, too much atmospheric distortion. The photons would never survive the journey. But Professor Simon Devitt and Professor Alexander Solnsev at UTS just proved all of that wrong. Think about what this means. Right now, quantum satellites are expensive, complex machines orbiting 500 kilometers above Earth. They have to generate trillions of entangled photons per second, handle extreme temperature swings, and operate for years without maintenance. If something breaks, too bad. You can't exactly send a repair crew to space, but with uplink quantum communication, everything flips. The heavy lifting happens on the ground where you have unlimited power. You can upgrade equipment anytime. You can produce vastly stronger signals. Maintenance is as simple as walking into a lab. The satellite becomes just a simple optical relay, receiving photons from two ground stations and measuring if they interfere. That's it. No complex quantum hardware in space, no trillion dollar satellites. This is the difference between building the internet with satellites that cost a billion dollars each versus satellites that cost a few million. Let me paint the picture of what they actually proved was possible. Imagine firing two single particles of light from separate ground stations to a satellite traveling at 20,000 kilometers per hour, 500 kilometers above Earth. These photons have to arrive at the exact same microsecond to undergo quantum interference. That's like two people on opposite sides of a city throwing grains of sand at a speeding bullet and having both grains hit the exact same spot at the exact same instant. The research team modeled every real world problem. Background light from cities, sunlight reflecting off the moon, atmospheric turbulence, imperfect telescope alignment. They included everything that makes this impossible. And their conclusion, it's not just possible, it's feasible with current technology. Here's where this gets really wild. Professor Devitt says, in the future, quantum entanglement is going to be a bit like electricity, a commodity we don't think about. We just plug in our appliances and use it. Right now, we use quantum satellites for cryptography, creating unhackable encryption keys. That only needs a few photons. But the quantum internet, that's different. That's about connecting quantum computers across continents. That requires massive bandwidth. Trillions of photons per second. The uplink method solves this. Ground stations can generate that bandwidth. The satellite just needs to be a simple relay. This makes a global quantum network actually practical. China's already leading here. Their Mishis satellite launched in 2016. Their Jinan-1 microsatellite just established a 12,900 kilometer quantum link between China and South Africa in 2025. 
Now imagine that same capability, but cheaper, more powerful, and upgradable from the ground. The team says they can test this soon using drones or balloon-mounted receivers. That's not a decade away. That's months or a couple years at most. Then comes the rollout, small satellites in low Earth orbit, creating a web of quantum relays, ground stations in major cities generating entanglement and beaming it up, quantum computers in different countries connecting through this network. The timeline? Professor Devitt and his team are working on it now. China's pushing hard. The U.S. military is watching closely. And unlike AI development where the U.S. has been leading, quantum satellite technology has multiple global players racing forward. This breakthrough fits into something I keep seeing. The barriers we thought were fundamental laws of physics keep falling. We thought quantum signals couldn't travel far through fiber optics. Then we invented quantum repeaters. We thought quantum computers needed near absolute zero temperatures. Then we built room temperature quantum systems. We thought quantum entanglement only worked downlink from space. Now we know uplink works too. Each impossible thing that becomes possible accelerates everything else. The quantum internet enables quantum cloud computing. Quantum cloud computing enables quantum AI. Quantum AI enables simulations we can't even imagine yet. This isn't just about better communication. This is infrastructure for a completely different kind of computation and intelligence. The quantum revolution is happening in parallel with the AI revolution. And most people are only watching AI. But quantum networking... That's the foundation that makes quantum computing accessible globally. And quantum computing solves problems that would take classical supercomputers billions of years. I'd love for you to hit subscribe so my digital clone can keep you ahead of these changes. Don't miss out. The next decade isn't just about artificial intelligence. It's about quantum intelligence networked across the planet. Let's embrace this quantum age together. See you down the next rabbit hole. Want to be the winner of the AI age and a first mover? Transform your skills with real AI knowledge today in our AI R and D labs. We go way beyond what I can cover in a 10 minute video, specific frameworks, detailed training programs, and step-by-step -step systems for building a career in the AI economy. The AI revolution is creating the biggest job market transformation in history. The question isn't whether this will happen, it's already happening. Will you be positioned to benefit from it? Inside the labs, learn the exact systems my team and I are implementing right now that are delivering massive results for real businesses, including our own marketing at First Movers. Start your journey by walking through a customized pathway powered by AI. For a fraction of the price of what this level of coaching and live training should go for, I'm giving it all to you. Join us inside and learn more about the labs at firstmovers.ai forward slash labs.